Joining us now is Baylor All-American Jared Butler, fresh off a big win over Wisconsin. The Bears are moving on to the Sweet 16. Uh, Jared, your team has obviously been talked about a lot this season. Uh, you guys were undefeated for a long stretch. And, and Jared, we have to ask you about your coach because, you know, there's been a lot of, you know, narrative talk that's been around, you know, Scott Drew over the years. Titus and I, we've talked about, you know, the, the question was always asked to us or posited to us, is Scott Drew a good coach? We've mm -hmm. always said yes, and uh, we've always argued on his behalf. So how was it this year to be able to win the Big 12? You guys celebrated and go crazy. Uh, but how nice was that to finally get, you know, that off the coach's back and be able to get that win for the conference? Yeah, it is like um, getting the monkey off the back. Um, you know, just so many years, 18 years of uh, just, you know, working your way, grinding, um, just getting upset and Kansas always winning. Like, it's, it's, it's a hard thing. And um, it, it's, I'm just so happy for this team and um, – and we, we we being the team that like got to do it for him, and um, he's he's been so good. Like he's been so um, just gracious to us, and um, he's an extremely hard worker. I think he's one of the best coaches I know. Jared, one thing I'm I'm always curious about uh, during as NCAA tournaments are going on, and and you guys are a one seed, obviously, and one of the favorites to win this thing. Uh, how much attention are you are you paying as a team to what else is going on around the tournament? There have been a lot of upsets, as there as there typically are in March Madness. But uh, you know, Illinois, a one seed, goes down today. Uh, Ohio State was a two seed; they lose to a 15 seed. Is this something that you guys are are watching and talking about and saying like, hey, man, any given day, like this could be us, or you just kind of locked in on your own deal and and not paying that much of attention? what else is going on yeah i mean we're we're pretty big basketball college basketball fans so we're watching the majority of the games and we're looking at what's happening and um and at the same time we're we're only locked in on our game and um it's um it's it's a you know winner go home type night every night and we you know we just got to come in locked in and prepare for every each and every matchup and uh, i think we've done a great job of being you know college basketball fans but at the same time being locked in on our game and only worrying about you know going one of those next next year and Jared, we've seen a lot of, you know, players and coaches in the controlled environment. It's not a bubble, but they found different hobbies. I've seen guys playing puzzles. I've seen guys playing Fortnite. Like what is what is the Jared Butler? You know, what does it look like when you're just chilling by yourself? Like what have you found? Yeah, you guys got like you got like what, four or five days now to kill yeah. between now and the next round? Yeah. And um I'm a big Netflix guy, big um um uh big Uno guy, big like rom coms and you know, just series like um uh, just just big next movie guy and um, just try to find like the, the hidden gems in Netflix. And, um, you know, I play a lot of Uno and um, I, I love being in a hotel and just having nothing to do. Like, I just love that. And um, yeah, so it's going to be it's going to be all right this next week. You'll figure it out. You mentioned the monkey on Scott. Just Drew. like the rest of us. Yeah, you, you mentioned uh, the monkey on Scott Drew's back. The program's back. Winning the first uh, Big 12 title in a long time. Uh, now, now, now you guys are looking to go to the first Final Four. Um, but, but another thing that was on your back, as I mentioned earlier, is you guys were undefeated for a very long time. And guys like Tate and I, when we're talking about college basketball, we always like debate. Uh, obviously, Gonzaga's undefeated in this in this tournament. We always debate like, is it better to be an undefeated team? I'm sure it sucked to lose to Kansas. You, the undefeated season was over, but since that moment, do you, has there been a noticeable change around the program? Are you guys like now we can exhale, we don't have to worry about being 26 and 0 or whatever it is. We can just go out and play, or are you still upset about it? What, what was the mindset after you guys finally dropped the game? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think for us, it was never a goal for us to go undefeated. Like, um, like on our board, like we're we're not trying to go undefeated. Um, you know, we're always trying to win every game, obviously. But when we lost, it wasn't like man, like we, we didn't reach our goals or this season's a bust. Like that was just never part of our goals. Um, we wanted to win the Big 12. We wanted to win the Big 12 tournament. We want to win a national championship. And um, we still got an opportunity to do that. So like our mindset when we lost wasn't like just, you know, super upset because it just wasn't one of our goals, you know? Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So Jared, we should say, uh, you know, Titus and I, we've called uh, ourselves the Baylor of podcasting. So we have a little bit, uh, you know, we have an inkling, you know, where we're pulling for you guys. Yeah, deep we, down. we, Jared, we think of our show as like you guys. Like we're we're always like good enough to be in the mix, but we've been we've been trying to get we've over the hump for years, Jared. man. We've been disrespected <laughs> just like you. We hope that this is the year you guys get over the hump. Maybe we can get yes, some of that magic yes. too. We'll, we'll meet you at the final four. We'll both celebrate. You know, you guys win great. it all. And we'll be like, hey, we did it. We, we all got. <laughs> over the hump together uh jared congratulations not only on the team success but individually man you had you've been having an awesome year i'm, yep. I'm sure uh first team all america yeah that, that's that's been cool to watch your career progress and all that stuff so best of luck moving forward thanks for joining us thanks jared
Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.